Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Tara Kirk. Hello. We're in Solvang, California. We are doing a promotional thing for Jumanji, the next level. The Blu-ray release of that. I'm sure they don't mind us mentioning that. Yes. And so uh, that's why we were not able to do this sooner. Uh, for those of you watching this 10 years from now, this is meaningless in terms of like the time disparity. But uh, for those of you who are watching this within the first 24 hours, now you understand why there was a delay. We're looking at Black Widow, the final trailer, and apparently there's a lot of buzz around it. We were thinking, oh, you know, it's fine if we miss it's this like, one. Why, what's gonna happen? You know, They've already, look, we've seen so many. What's the big deal? Yeah, and so uh, here we are. And uh, we're working on our on our vacation. Our work vacation. Work vacation. Yeah, work. it's it's all work. It's all it's work. It's but it's fun. It's you, fun. We're getting we're getting to hang out with friends, which you guys are not interested in right now. There will be a vlog, yeah. but let's watch the damn trailer, shall we? Damn, language. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> when I was an inventor, I made mistakes. And a lot of enemies. Oh, shit. He's called Science Taskmaster. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulated. Fully conscious, but no choices. Oh, wow. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. Oh, wow. We have to go back to where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. We're a family. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Not to look into the past. Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Well, your plan sucks. At some point, oh, wow. we'll have to choose between what the world wants you to be and who you are. I'm done running. Oh my lord. Oh my. Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get a big hunch. You listen to your mother. Oh my god, this... Uh, uh, All right, enough. All of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. <laughs> You know, I really don't see why we need a Black Widow movie. What's the point? It's, it's, she, she died in Endgame. It's just like, let, let, just let, let bygones be bygones. Let bygones just be let it go. Just, just leave well enough alone. It's yeah. like, we, we, just, we don't need to revisit this. Like, what's to be excited about? Nothing. Wow. Um, that was pretty cool. I'm, um, yeah. I'm floored. I mean, yeah. Um, they showed a lot that they didn't show before. Like, I, I honestly thought when they were coming out with this final trailer, I'm like, well... Do we need to see any more? Is there any more to show? It was already pretty cool. I was already sold. And there's so much more in here. You see way more of the baddie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry that I don't know the baddie's Taskmaster. name. Taskmaster, they said it in the trailer. Oh, they did? I didn't hear it. Or at least it. that's what I heard. Okay, well, awesome. I was, I was his, just... His emblem is a paperclip, the Microsoft Word paperclip guy. Oh, okay, that makes so much more sense now. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, we already knew that he had Captain America's fighting style and then he mimicked hers right but then that bit where it was like black panther i was like ah oh well, my yeah oh that was that was black panther when I he did was, double front kick off the dude i thought it was because he, of, he um, did the claws it was like Chunk. oh gotcha yeah. you caught that i did not yeah. the laptop is actually far away from us because of the lens it can't, it, you, technical stuff yeah now. but uh i um i really enjoyed that movement it looked really cool yeah the way he jumped off him because 
Uh, what made that so nice was that there was a lot of gravity in the movement. You know, usually when you see stuff like that, it feels like people are floating through the air. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if that was prepped in such a way that they actually did that stunt. Because, I mean, like, that dude actually took the kick and flew. Oh, um, on, okay. He, he, he might have been on a wire rig of some kind, like they so, yanked him back. Yeah. But he certainly had to stand his ground. I'm going off of memory. I could look at it in slow motion and probably have a different opinion about it. But my theory is that he stood his ground for a second to give a little pushback mm -hmm. while the stunt guy pushed off of him and did the nice little layout and then landed. It was really nice looking. That was, yeah. that was a very, very sexy stunt. And I really hope that they keep it just like that in the movie because there was a moment in Avengers, was it Avengers or Captain America Civil War? One of them where um, Anthony Mackie does this like split kick, which is actually done by my buddy, Aaron Tony. He does a split kick and then a twisty, twisty thing into a three point landing. And it looked great in the trailer because it was just one shot. Mm -hmm. But in the movie, they like cut to alternate angles of the same thing. And I'm like, why would you? It looks so nice. Like let Aaron right. Tony shine. <laughs> but and so here they let the stunt guy shine where they did the move and, and just lands and it just stays on him so you can appreciate the action. Um, there was another cool moment where her sister, I think, was like going looping around someone oh, like, yeah, as she yeah, yeah. pulled and the camera like swooped by her legs as she went. Some cool creative camera work with the action in this, I, I would say. And I thought the fight scenes looked really, really good. Yeah. I mean, just for me being a lay person and, and not a martial arts expert or a fight scene expert at all, I thought it looked really cool. I liked that there was so much action. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have the like marvel quippiness that we're so used to like i love that family dynamic with all of them that like ending on that scene yeah. at the table it's like yeah yeah i buy that i buy that yeah i'm interested in it, it grounds it again yeah it brings it back to the relatable thing you know in between all the kicking of the asses yes you, you gotta have those moments with your family drinking vodka vodka because you know that's a thing i love drinking with my family it's super nice yeah i tried doing weed with my mom once how'd that go she didn't get high Oh. It was a weird situation. She dropped Did the, you? She, she dropped the weed. Oh. <laughs> Not to throw under the bus. It's legal here in California, so I can talk about it now. But yeah. Oh. Oh well. At was, least, I mean, you tried, right? It's a, it's yeah. a bonding experience. <laughs> yeah. There was one instance where, I don't know why I'm talking about this. The first time I got like really, really drunk and spoke to my mom, I was at a party uh, and she called me up and it was approaching my parents' anniversary, their wedding anniversary. And I go, Mom! You should take my American Express and just have a just have a fun dinner with dad. Just like a lavish place, wherever you want. My mom goes, you never talk like, you're drunk. <laughs> Call me when you're not drunk. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, uh, back to this. Looks fantastic. I mean, there's a lot of repeat stuff that we saw from previous trailers. I didn't mind it because like they were adding like a little more. That's what trailers do. Yeah. You know, you get just a little more, a little more, a little more to get you excited. And it worked for me. I mean, well, I was already going to watch it. But. Well, yeah. And also the way they did the trailer was cool because even though they still had a lot of the stuff that we had seen before, the voiceover was completely different. Yes. And so it kind of gives you a different angle to the story. I'm really interested in what happened to her sister exactly because she said something about you know, it's like they were being controlled. They were fully conscious, but they were controlled. And so I'm wondering, okay, if that was the case, then how'd you get out? It well, sounds like a pretty bad situation. It's just like know? with Femme Nikita. Yeah. You know, and it's so cool when you see naked weapon. You see all those those women. Point of no in. return. Yeah. Bridget Fonda. What? So many great movies like that. Um, but you <laughs> Great. I don't know. Um, but you see that part where all of those women in, in the black come yeah. in and they're gonna kick Black Widow's butt and she's like, no you're not. And then her family comes in and they're all fighting together. I mean, a family that fights together stays together, right? Is what? there a ballet scene in this? I didn't Guys. see any ballet scenes. I think you're thinking of a different movie. Because the whole thing with these special ops, like assassin lady people, is that they are well-rounded in other ways, yeah. so that it's like a sneaky, sneaky attack where you, you don't see it coming up to dinner, and then pow! Yeah. Chris, Chris Blatt, you know? Like in John Wick. They throw you off a building or yeah. you know, poison your soup. Yeah. yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. And I love that all her family has Russian accents, and she's just straight up American, but I can buy it, you know, you live in a country long enough. Well, she's South African. No, wait, that's Charlize Theron. Oh. Sorry. 
Wrong white lady. <laughs> Wrong blonde. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I like it a lot, and I'm very excited. I, I'm, I'm just really, really, really hoping that in some way they're going to indicate that Black Widow's not dead, and completely undercut the drama what? of Endgame. You know, I really, I'm... I really, really want that. I want them to undercut all the drama. I don't care about undercutting the drama. You know, I do. I don't want them to live. It's, it's only bad when you undercut the drama too close in proximity, like Chewie in um, Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. That, don't do that. But like, um, outside of that, like movie to movie, I don't mind undercutting the drama as long as it feels intense in the moment, and then I'm happy later on. You know, I'll be happier when you when you bring them back permanently. So, this you know. Be nice. I mean, that's that's an option, I guess. You can't kill off Black Widow. I was sad. You can't kill her. But off. at least we have a Black Widow movie. I mean, you know, when Captain America put back all the Infinity Stones, he put back Black Widow. That's a possibility, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you guys hopefully enjoyed some of this interesting conversation. And uh, check out Achara Kirk. She's on the social media sometimes when she's uh, not looking at the mirror. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we drop another lovely video like this one. Um, not always Marvel related. So um, check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews, and also Jumanji will be on Blu-ray. Yes, on uh, January, uh, not January, on March 17th. It was, it's not in close proximity. I'm too lazy to go grab it, but yes. Okay, <laughs> peace out.